Hi, I'm Jillian Gallagher, Literacy Academic Coach for Pittsburgh Public Schools, and this is an introduction to digraphs. A digraph is two letters that make one sound together. These are the consonant digraphs, and it's important to recognize digraphs when students are reading because saying each letter sound would give them the incorrect word. So highlighting, circling, identifying those digraphs before attempting to decode the word can be really important toward building that automaticity. The first digraph we're going to talk about is CH. CH can be at the beginning of words like cherry and cheese, and it can also be at the end of words like search and branch. I'm exaggerating the words to help make the sound clearer, but we would just normally say these words, search, branch. CH can also be in the middle of words, but it's frequently when there's an ending like searching, branching. CK can be at the middle or end of a word, and it makes the same sound as hard C and K if it were by itself. K. CK says K, and it's used only after short vowel sounds. So CK is often one of the first digraphs that we teach students because we teach short vowels before any of our long vowel patterns. Looking at the words truck, rocket, Back, pack. Again, those sounds are exaggerated, but in truck, the CK comes after the short U, a uh, sound. In rocket, even though CK is in the middle of the word, it follows the short O, a uh, sound. And in backpack, it follows the short A sound in both of those words. SH can also be used anywhere in a word. It can begin words like sheep and shirt. It can end words like fish and wash. And just like CH, it can be in the middle of words, but it's frequently when there's an ending added, like fishing, washed. PH says PH is one of the digraphs that we teach last, and it's in words at the beginning, middle, or end. Words like phone, pharmacy, alphabet, trophy, graph, and Ralph. When students are first starting to write and actually encode words by sounding them out themselves, you'll see a lot of the letter F substituting where we would spell PH words. Just a correction for students, it's not wrong that they're hearing the F sound, when they're first starting, but we do want to show them that conventional spelling. <clears throat> TH can be used anywhere in a word. It has two sounds, a voiced and a voiceless sound. To show students the difference between the voiced and voiceless sound, you may want to gently have them put their fingers against their vocal cords in their throat. The voiceless TH is quieter, and we make that sound by gently putting our tongue between our teeth. TH is voiceless at the beginning of words when we're talking about specific things. Think, thumb, and TH at the end of any word is voiceless. So TH, when it is voiceless, says like bath. It's very quiet. The voiced TH sound is buzzy. TH is voiced at the beginning of articles and function words like this, that, th, and it's voiced in the middle of words when it's sandwiched between two vowels like father, feather, mother. WH is usually at the beginning of words, and we say wh. WH says wh. Saying wh and actually pronouncing that H sound at the end would not be incorrect, but usually when we're speaking, we just say whale, white, whip. As a review, a digraph is two letters that make one sound. Digraphs can be at the beginning, middle, or end of words, and it's important to recognize digraphs when students are reading because they help build that automaticity. Can you name the digraphs in their sounds? 